not sure if that's the one that flew on me or not. But he's looking at me. What a pretty day today. Oh, we are we are at a special special location folks for a spirit hot spot trust me <laughs> now if you are hearing like a um, roaring noise maybe I don't know if you can pick it up on the if it's picking it up on the microphone but that is the cicadas that has invaded East Tennessee here so let me show you where we're at here and uh, you can see it is look at that old tree there wow look at that tree you can see that it's in the middle of almost nowhere <laughs> and you can see there might see the waterway down here but this is called the Teleco Blockhouse and this is a very historical place and uh, if you want to screenshot that and read about it um, but a uh, very unique place so and I am I'm right I'm right here that's not my car but that's <laughs> that's where I'm at and you can see the trail goes all the way to the blockhouse teleco blockhouse now the Teleco Blockhouse, um, this actually is a uh, very historical site where um, the American pioneers uh, back in the 1700s and the uh, native uh, Cherokee that was uh, all through the land here uh, in this area, well the uh, American pioneers, well they were trying to make peace with the uh, the Cherokee. So they built this blockhouse that we'll be seeing here to uh, for trade, you know, and also a lot of historical things went on. Uh, they had a lot of treaties here. A lot of the land of Tennessee was actually designated from the blockhouse down here. It is a really beautiful place here. It's, it's really wooded. It's very private. There's like, I mean, there's nothing, no one around nowhere. I'm getting cell service though, I will tell you that. <laughs> a nice little bench there, just take a little break. The story is that uh, Cherokee would come in and they would um, trade for items. They would trade their pelts, furs, you know, uh, deer skins, all that for, uh, different uh, various items. I had a friend to recommend this spot because they they said there's a lot of energy down here and there's a lot of uh, just a just a, a peacefulness but uh, there's also a story that actually happened in this area uh, and the story is about uh, a mythical a uh, woman by the name of Dear Woman. And she's also near, na na uh, she's also, I heard something. See there? She's also known as the Dear Lady. Now, the story goes with the, uh, she was a, a Native American, um, she could, you know, she could change, you know, I mean, she was, uh, she switched bodies. I mean, it was kind of like a skinwalker, you know. Um, but the story goes is that, um, and, and the story actually started 
looking at all these bugs down here. Uh, from the Native American uh, Cherokee uh, in Oklahoma. And um, there's a, uh, you can see that or not, that's a cicada wing. We got cicadas everywhere. Um, sorry about that. I got sidetracked there. So the um, story started uh, supposedly in Oklahoma, but it spread east. And it and uh, one of the stories actually is in this area where I'm at that uh, that actually happened, or they say it did. But uh, the story about the uh, dear lady is that, um, or she was a, a Cherokee. Uh, native and she was in her village um, and she was going to go and get water down at the lake. Anuka was the, the Cherokee uh, lady's name. Heard noises and all of a sudden out of the woods come some men and they attacked her. They essayed her, they abused her uh, so badly that they left her there for dead. So the story is that it happened, actually happened here, um, close by, that there was an abusive man. Uh, he was a American pioneer, and he was very abusive to his wife. He was very abusive to his children. And one day he was out hunting, came upon a nuka. He saw a uh, woman that uh, was uh, starting to seduce him. And she lured him deeper and deeper into the woods, the story goes. And she ended up killing him. Yeah. And, uh, but ever so often, Anuka would show up at different areas, different ceremonies, different places all over the East Coast and uh west coast just everywhere anywhere anuka supposedly can show up anywhere and if you're a lady and you're looking to have you know have a child she comes with blessings for that but if you're a man and you're an abusive man and you know that you are or you may not know and you come across her then you're 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 doomed pretty much these beautiful, beautiful daisies there. Isn't this beautiful? When I'm doing these spirit hotspots, I am to kind of not say out loud what the spirit I am asking the spirit to show me an image about. I'm keeping that to myself because it's kind of a ritual thing that you should do. You should try to do, I've always heard. But I will show when I edit this video who I'm talking about and who, what I'm asking to uh, see, seek some information about. So this here is the blockhouse. As you can see, there's just areas here where it looks like there was buildings that uh, used to be here. Yeah, it's so peaceful here, folks, other than the cicadas, which to me, they don't sound that bad at all, really. Just kind of a whirling sound, but very peaceful. This is the uh, one building that they have a lookout tower, if you will, uh, that they built for this area. Look at the beautiful view here, folks. Oh my goodness. So pretty. But yeah, this was the uh, blockhouse. This is where the uh, Cherokee would uh, ride in on their, their boats, you know, the canoes, whatever they had, and they would uh, come up here and they would... Uh, trade their furs and their pelts and all it was quite something though can you imagine just imagine how that was here i mean i could just literally almost see the vision of uh these uh 
the Cherokee, the native Cherokee, just, you know, rolling up into the, the boats and with all their furs, just amazing. Kind of wanted to point this out. Looky here, what I've come across. These are fire ants. What have we heard about fire ants? Isn't that crazy? These are little tiny, tiny ants, fire ants. So I'm gonna walk down here a bit. I am so glad that it turned out a little drier today. It's been raining a lot, but uh, as you can see, there's boats out there everywhere. here to the landing but yeah you can see you can see where there is a really nice view right here like that take the view take a snapshot there we go and what a great day and you can see from a distance out here maybe I don't know if you can pick it up we got somebody on a uh, Maybe a boat fishing right there, looks like. Yep. So. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> How nice would that be, right? Oh my goodness. And I guess they're going down to the channel here. But yeah, this is... Uh, how things have changed since the 1700s, right? <laughs> yeah, now the uh, blockhouse was d dismantled, I believe, that I read where it was like 1819, I believe. Yeah, the year 1819, and that's when the, uh, the blockhouse was dismantled. It's another nice view here. Here these, some sweet peas, flowers, and some daisies here about that beautiful yeah so I would definitely recommend coming out here folks if you uh, if you're looking to um, you know find a unique place that's uh, quiet and if you're in the Smoky Mountains because uh, we're on the edge of the Smoky Mountains here I would definitely recommend coming out here because it is just absolutely beautiful out here. It really is. So. Another boat. This like looks like a fire pit, or maybe actually. Ooh, it's a well. Hmm. See that? It's a well. Wow. So this is where they got the water at. Check out this area. I love the uh, tower up there. Too bad we can't go in it. Though. You can on uh, Fort Loudon though. See what else this is right here. I guess it's just some old wooden. Yeah, it's just they got some wooden pieces and stuff here. So the one thing I'm not noticing though, as I did in the last uh, Spirit Hotspot, I'm not noticing a lot of wildlife. If I put a Walnut shell up here. See that? <laughs> uh, and here is a, another walnut shell that's been left behind. I've noticed that there's a lot of these shells left behind. Let's see. We got some more. 
down here. I mean, I guess maybe people are just cracking them open. There's a walnut tree somewhere around here, I imagine. <laughs> and then here's another one. Yep. Some more. So somebody's been eating some walnuts, breaking them open. They're black walnuts. Yep. And here's some, some of the rock work. Oh, beautiful. I see one person over there that's got a little doggies there. He's over hollering at them. Let's see if I can get a little closer there. So there he is. That's the only person other than the park ranger I've seen down here. So. Yep. So here is our hot spot. This is a definitely a sacred ground area right here. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at these rocks. And if you look at them for a few minutes and ask the spirits, show me a vision. Show me a vision of what you're looking for. There will be an image that will come from these blocks of rocks here. So just kind of meditate and look at the rocks and uh, just see an image will come to you. A very peaceful image or a graphic image. And I'm asking the spirits right now to show me an image of what I've been asking about. Uh, something about this character, this person. And I'm starting to see, I'm starting to see an image right here, folks. I am definitely starting to see an image. Now, we will go to the right side. And I'm asking the spirits to show me an image here. To show me an image. Yes, I can actually see, I can see another image here. I can see an image. side here and spirits if you can show me another image show me an image of what I'm asking about this certain person what do I need to know and what do I need to be seeing here and I'm definitely seeing an image here I'm seeing an image kind of study the rocks and look at them and there'll be an image it'll come out so we'll do a little pareidolia and I'm asking the spirits if they'll show me something in the clouds that has something to do with the request I'm asking, the person I'm asking and some information about. Can you show me an image of what, what went on, what I need to know? And if you look at the clouds there, folks, you can make out an image. It'll show you an image. Just peacefully look at the clouds. 
and you can definitely definitely see an image I definitely see one I see I see a, a couple of images if not more just look at the clouds and see what the clouds are telling you Wow now we got another view this is a on the other side of our blockhouse. And again, it will show you, it will show you an image. And you just, just look at it, focus on it, and before you know it, you'll see an image. And the spirits are definitely speaking. That is for sure. Definitely. I definitely see. I definitely see an image here. Oh. Uh, it seems like there's somebody flying. Wow. Let me know in the comments, folks, what you see, because this is just absolutely beautiful. It really is.